A stands for asset. In the world of crypto, an asset is something valuable that people can trade. Think of it like a special digital sticker you can collect or swap with friends. But instead of stickers, you have digital coins or tokens. Because it's all online, you won't find these coins in your pocket. They exist on the internet, stored safely in something called a digital B stands for blockchain. A blockchain is like a giant digital notebook that everyone can see. Imagine if your entire class had one big notebook that listed who traded which stickers, when they traded them, and for how much. No one can sneak in and erase a page or add a fake trade because everyone is keeping track of the same information at the same time. This is what makes crypto trades transparent and hard to cheat. B stands for cryptographically. This might sound like a tricky word, but it just means secret coding. Cryptography hides your private information so only you or a trusted person can access your digital coins. Picture it like a secret handshake only you and your best friend know. No one else can copy it, and that keeps your transactions safe. The ID stands for decentralization. In the crypto world, decentralized means there's no single boss controlling the system. Instead, many people around the globe share the job of verifying trades and keeping the digital notebook honest. It's like having a classroom where everyone helps grade the homework, so no one person can give unfair grades or cheat the system. E stands for exchange. An exchange is like a, a big electronic marketplace where people buy and sell different cryptocurrencies using normal money or sometimes trading one type of crypto for another. Think of it like a toy store for grown-ups, but instead of toys, you shop for digital coins. Just like comparing prices before buying